Should trans fats be banned from food? It's an important question, but first, what exactly is a trans fat? Stay tuned for Health Politics. Welcome to Health Politics with Dr. Mike McGee, a weekly program exploring important trends in health. If you take an unsaturated fat with a double bond, heat it, and add hydrogen, you can change the position of the hydrogen atoms at the double bond. Usually, they're both on one side of the chain. But the chemical reaction causes one hydrogen to cross over to the other side of the chain so that the hydrogen atoms now sit across from each other. We call this a trans fat because trans means across. We first started making trans fats when concerns surfaced about the health effects of saturated fats in butter. By hydrogenating the unsaturated fats in vegetable oil, that is, adding hydrogen atoms across from each other to create trans fats, we discovered that liquid vegetable oil turned solid and could be sold as sticks of margarine. From the 1950s to the 1980s, we thought what we were doing was healthy. Tufts University nutrition professor Alice Lichtenstein says that back then, quotes, anything was good if it decreased saturated fat consumption, but then studies began to question trans fats too, close quotes. In fact, in 1994, the Center for Science in the Public Interest petitioned the FDA to require food labels to disclose trans fat. Took more than a decade. But as of January 1st, 2006, trans fat occupies a separate line under saturated fat on food labels. 